In his study, Spanish immunologist Antonio Arnaiz Valena points out that the Palestinians trace their roots to the Canaanites, who inhabited what is now known as Palestine over 3,000 years ago. As history unfolded, these Canaanite ancestors intermingled with the Egyptians, Mesopotamians, and the Anatolians. Ancient Greek historians' writings also suggest that Palestinians emerged from the Canaanites around 1500 BC. Supposedly, they initially migrated en masse from the Arabian Peninsula. Meanwhile, some scholars believe the name Palestine originally comes from the word Philistia, referring to the Philistines who settled parts of the region in the 12th century BC. In AD 135, following a failed Jewish uprising, Roman Emperor Hadrian evicted the Jews from Jerusalem and declared it part of the Syrian-Palestine territory. After Islam's conquest of the Middle East in the 7th century, Arabs began settling in Syrian Palestine. Throughout history, aside from the Romans, Palestine has been occupied by various powers, including the Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, Greeks, Arabs, Fatimids, Seljuk Turks, Egyptians, and Mamluks. From around 1517 to 1917, the Ottoman Empire largely dominated the region. At the close of World War I in 1918, Britain took control of Palestine. The League of Nations granted Britain a mandate over Palestine, which came into effect in 1923. This mandate gave Britain administrative control, with provisions to establish a Jewish national homeland in Palestine. On the other hand, since the fall of the Ottoman Empire in World War I until 1948, Middle Eastern nations regarded Palestine as a geographical region lying between the Mediterranean Sea and the Jordan River. However, much of this territory is now in dispute with Israel. Present-day theories consider the Palestinian territories to encompass the West Bank, lying between modern-day Israel and Jordan, and the Gaza Strip, bordering Israel and Egypt. In reality, the control over these territories remains fluid and intricate. There's no international consensus on Palestine's boundaries, much of which has been occupied by Israel for many years. Despite enduring conflict from the early 20th century to the present, beneath the resilience and patriotism of its people, Palestine is a nation rich in history, culture, and tradition, holding treasures significant to three major world religions, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. Stay tuned for a series of intriguing facts about it. Despite endless sporadic conflicts with Israel, the economy in this 6,020 square kilometer area thankfully still thrives. The cement, olive, textile, and tourism sectors play a pivotal role in boosting Palestine's economy, including the mining sector. The average age of the Palestinian population is quite low, standing at 20.8 years. Additionally, Palestine has a lower life expectancy at 74.62 years. You can certainly deduce the reasons behind this young age dominance and the decreased life expectancy. The gazelle or antelope stands as the national identity symbol for Palestine, known for its speed that can reach up to 100 km h. On the floral side, the poppy flower is the nation's bloom, recognized for its medicinal properties and agricultural significance. Palestine boasts over 2,000 species of wildflowers, including anemones, tulips, and roses. Besides the poppy, several other wildflowers in Palestine, like the red anemone, are also regarded as national symbols, with the latter symbolizing the Palestinian independence movement. Uniquely in Palestine, Christmas is celebrated three times annually. 
This is due to the diversity of religious communities, with Christianity being varied beyond the majority Muslim community. Besides the general celebration on December 25, the Greek Orthodox community celebrates on January 6, while the Armenians do so on January 18. According to Christian belief, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Palestine. This city is revered as a holy city among Christians and is a popular religious tourism destination. Ramallah serves as the de facto capital of Palestine, renowned for its modern architecture. This city is also recognized as the Palestinian art and culture epicenter, with numerous art galleries and musical events taking place. Contrasting the modernity, Palestine is also home to Jericho, the world's oldest continuously inhabited city located in the West Bank. This city has been in existence since 10,000 BC. The Al-Aqsa Mosque stands as one of the holiest sites for Muslims and is considered the third holiest in Islam, following the Masjid al-Haram in Mecca and the Masjid Nabawi in Medina. Located in the old city of Jerusalem, it remains one of the most sought-after religious tourism destinations in Palestine. Recognized for its rich cultural heritage, Palestine is home to four sites enlisted in UNESCO's World Heritage List. These include the Old City of Jerusalem and its walls, the Church of the Nativity and the Pilgrimage Route in Bethlehem, cultural landscapes in southern Jerusalem and Batir, and the historic site of Old Hebron. The Temple of Solomon, constructed by King Solomon in the 10th century BC, is revered as a sacred site among the Jewish community and stands as the primary holy site in Judaism. Situated on Jerusalem's Temple Mount, it is one of the world's most significant archaeological landmarks. On November 15, 1988, Palestine declared its independence, a proclamation made by the Palestinian National Council and the Palestine Liberation Organization. However, even after establishing its government, not all United Nations members recognize the state of Palestine as sovereign. As of April 2023, out of the 193 UN member states, 140, including Indonesia, have recognized Palestine as a sovereign nation. Yet, approximately 50 countries, such as the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Japan, Germany, and Canada, have not extended this recognition.